Hey you guys, so what I'm going to be doing is editing a, um, a widget that I have and showing you how I change like colors and stuff of them because a lot of people have been like talking about it on Instagram and I thought I would help you guys out. So first of all, uh, what I'm going to do is show you an eye widget that I'm going to edit. And this one um, I had edited before, but the footage didn't work. So I'm just going to go back in and just change the colors to help you guys. Okay, so this is what it looks like once I changed them, but we're going to change them again. Okay, so first what I like to do is open up Safari to a um, HTML code website for colors and I'll give a link to it <laughs> so yeah this is just here for reference for our color codes then what you want to do is go to iFile and go to your iWidgets folder and select a widget which is prob sch and I'll tell you what widget pack this is from too and sometimes on the iWidgets the um Color stuff will be in widget.html, which is this. But for mine, it's in style.css. So where I'm going to start with is my clock. I'm just going to make everything on this one pink, but like different variations. So let's see. What I'm going to do is just start with this one. I like this color. It's like a um, watermelon pink. So what you do is just select it. Make sure you get the pound. Copy the code and come back to iFile, click on edit, and change the color for our. We're going to change it to watermelon pink. Then you go, I like to save mine as well because you never know what will happen. Like sometimes, you know, phones crash and stuff like that. Then I like neon pink. So I'm just going to go and copy this one. As you already see, mine already has to pound on them. So I just go here. And I select it and I paste my code in again. And I always save. Then for AM and PM, we're going to pick a different color. And let's just start going with some purples as well. I'm just picking random ones for right now. So yeah. And then you see here, font color, and paste that as well, and save. And that's pretty much what you do for um, changing the colors. I want to show you how to do a little bit more so you can get it. So now what we're going to do is go down to the weekday and pick a color. And I am in love with this Aztec purple. So I'm just going to um, copy this code. And this is going to be the color of what weekday it is. So yeah. So you're going to select it. And paste. I'm done. And I save. I'm going to show you how it looks so far. And then you'll be able to see where we made our changes. So yeah. So let's just go to prop, sch, and wait. Sorry, you guys went to the wrong widget. And then you can see where I changed the purples here. And you can see where the pink is, where 2014 is. And then um, I will have to go in and change the time colors. And you see where weight dude is? That's where my... um. Weather would be, but I didn't put in my city code, but I will, and I will show you guys the finished product. So, yeah, let's keep going. Back to iFile. Style CSS. And we're going to change the date color. And I want to make mine purple mimosa. I'm just using purples and pinks for now. And click on edit and date, you know, it's here. Hold on. Okay, select and then paste. And me, I always like to save. And then the month, let's change that color. Um, I like mauve, 
mauve. I don't know what I was trying to say. I know y'all like, oh my god, a girl cannot talk. I always be missing words up in every freaking video. But yeah. So, yep. Select it and paste it. That's pretty much all you do is selecting and pasting the colors in here. Then temperature. We can just pick another like pink now because I did a lot of purples down here. So, let's do carnation pink. And copy. And then let's see. We are down here on temperature. Sometimes I miss when I try to select it. Okay, and save. And now we can look over and see if there's anything else that we want to change. Like at the um, top. I don't see any more colors to be changed. Okay, um. I think I didn't change this puntos thing. I don't know what in the world it is. But I'm going to change the color anyways. Copy. Edit. And of course here. Save. Done. And then now I'm going to go to my notes. And this one comes with um the um like a configuration screen but some I widgets don't and I can show you how to do that so let's go down to our widget I'm gonna put in my city code I'm gonna paste it in here I keep mine in my notes so I don't have to keep going back to Yahoo I'm just gonna adjust my settings and edit and you can see the changes we made where the pinks and the purples are and I think this came out really cool I like how it was like multicolored and I'll probably use this one for my lock screen because you see it doesn't fit on here. Okay. So yeah, this is how you change the colors of like weather and time widgets. And I'm going to show you now how I edit my quote widget. Okay, now I'm going to show you how I do my quote widget. And it's pretty much the same way as I edit my other colors. So I'm just going to go to the quote now. And this one widget HTML is what you click on and text viewer. I scroll down and this section down here is where our quote is. So what I'm going to be showing you how to do this widget is how I make a certain amount, a certain part of the text bold and underlined. Which is what you see here and how I make it a certain color. So first what we're going to do, I'm going to go back to the website. Wait, wrong thing. Let's see. Yeah, go back to the website and pick a color. And, um, I think I'll just pick a random purple. I've been feeling purple lately. And then, um, copy the code as usual, like we did on the last tutorial. <laughs> and go back to iFile. And edit and right here on our quote widget where you see color here this is the color of the entire the text of the whole widget right but what I did was where my quote is which is down here where my quote is I went in and put some HTML codes so I could change specific parts of my own um, quote to specific colors so to do that you need to put this little open triangle thing, I'm not sure, arrow thing, then type font color equals quotation mark. And in the quotation mark here is where you'll put your color, like I did so. Put another quotation mark and then an arrow going in the opposite direction. Then type your words, which is what I have here, meet it and live it. And what you do after that is do a backslash and then find and the same little arrow things. Then to bold it, you do the same concept, the same little arrows, and put a B. Then at the end of it, do backslash B. To underline the same thing, just put a U in there. Then here, backslash U. And that's pretty much all you do. And I'm going to um, change the color 
here to a different one just to show you guys the same concept of changing colors. So I'm just going to pick something that will really stand out against my purple. See if I can find a blue. Like something that's really bright. Like wrong one. Let's do this one. And um, copy the code. Then go back here. And I will put all these um codes in the description of wherever I post this to. So yeah, then what you do is just select it and paste it on here. Save and then click done and now we're going to add our quote widget and I'll show you what I did to it okay so I'm assuming that um my purple color wasn't able to be used like certain HTML colors aren't able to show up with this for some reason but you can see where I underlined the blue and I'm going to just go change that purple um color because I hate when it does this some colors don't work for some reason so I'm just going to go change that to just a different purple and hopefully it works this time I'm just going to pick violet something simple and hopefully it works I hate that certain colors don't work it's always like your favorite ones so same concept text viewer then we're going to be going here. No wonder I put two um pounds. That's why it didn't work. My bad, you guys. Now let's put our quote widget on here and see. That was just my bad. See, now it's purple. And this is like a really pretty color scheme together. So, yeah. That's how I edit my quote widgets. I think this looks really cute. So, I'll probably keep this for a while. So yeah, that's how you do quotes.